how's it going everybody? This is Brandon down here at Snake River Fly. Uh, I got another streamer here for you. Um, we're calling this one the Tube Sock Sculpin. Um, it's using uh, some of our new Techno Bunny material, some of our laser legs. Um, it's been a, it was a pretty effective pattern all summer long. We were chasing smallmouth and uh, we've been having some pretty decent success with it. Uh, you know, as the fall months have come on, those fish are really starting to target those, uh, you know, those minnow imitations, crawdads, stuff like that, trying to put on the pounds for winter. Um, so to get started here, I got uh, just an O'Shaughnessy style hook. Um, ones to one odd is generally where I like to find it. You know, any other streamer hook will do, um, but I generally like to have something that has a little wider gap just because of the bulk of this fly. Um, the body material we're using today is our Techno Bunny. Um, it's a synthetic rabbit. Comes in strips like this, one-sided. A uh, bunch of crazy cool colors. This one we're gonna be doing today is olive. Um, and for our fins today, we're going to be using some of our laser legs in the Atomic City. Um, so to get started here, I got a 6 uh, uh Semperfly flat wax thread here. We're just going to lay down a decent thread base. And we're going to, I got some large white dumbbell eyes. Um, any color will do. I like the large because we are going to be wrapping this uh, techno around it. Um, and so I'm going to set it kind of at the clouser point, um, basically using a spacing of one. I could fit another set of barbell eyes right here. And so we're just going to go ahead and attach those. So figure eight wraps and then underneath to cinch that thread in, help lock those eyes. And then we're going to bring our thread all the way back to where that bend starts. Make sure those eyes are secure. Okay. So we're going to take a pretty healthy chunk here, probably six inches or so, of this Techno. And we're going to ferrule this. So in my, this is my left hand here. I'm going to hold this side tight. And then in this hand, I'm going to take and rotate it in my fingers. Bring it up and pinch it come back, rotate again, and just kind of create a, a spin on this material and get it to want to come together on itself. And we're just going to keep repeating that step until we have a pretty tight weave here. Okay, once we got it decently tight, we're going to take our right hand, both of those sides, and you're gonna see I got a loop here. When I let go, that material wants to come together. Take and kind of mash all those materials together. And then you end up with this little fox tail. All right. So we're gonna take, and I like to measure out about the length and then some of this hook. And just like on your rabbit strips, we're gonna pull those fibers forward and create a tie-in point. We're gonna set that down right here on the back. Give that a few securing wraps, fold that back, a couple underneath there. We're gonna take another section of our Techno. We're gonna trim off a little tie-in spot on that. Tie that in just right at the base of that tail and then bring it up just right behind the eyes. And we're just going to wrap this forward just like a chenille, kind of palmering that material back with every wrap. Until we get it right up behind the eyes. We're going to tie that off. Trim that piece out. Okay, and then you're gonna take and kind of mohawk this stuff to the side. Take this top piece, you're gonna pull it over, pinch that down, and then tie that off as well. Give our give a little bit more fullness to our body here. Got the sharpest scissors on the planet too. Secure that in. So now we have our basic body, a little more bulk up here in the front end. 
that extended tail that's going to flop and move in the water. And then we're going to take some of our Atomic City rubber legs. I got four pieces here. I'm going to tie those in on each side to create some fins. Now, not only does this help with the profile with the fins and give it a more realistic look, but it actually helps kind of keel this fly on the bottom. Kind of gives it like some little kickstands hanging off. We're going to trim those to about the back end of the hook. Okay. And last but not least, we're going to take that Techno Bunny strip again. Create another little tie in point. Tie that in right in front of the legs, right behind the eyes. Bring your thread up to the eye. And we're going to take and we're going to give it a little. I guess you got to tie it in right first, huh? <laughs> we're going to take that and we're going to build our head. So I'll give it a couple full wraps behind and then I'm going to do under and over and then repeat that coming from the underside by pulling those fibers back a little bit too to kind of trap them back bring it forward and then we're going to finish it with just a couple wraps up to the eye of the hook once we get it there tie that off And trim out your techno. Cover that up and kind of make a little bit cleaner bump on the front. You can use various colors with your thread. I like hot spots in my streamers, even if they're little. I'm going to add a whip finish. Okay. So now take and we're going to pick these techno fibers out. I create a mohawk on this guy. Straight up and down. Make sure you get as many of those trap fibers out as possible. So we're going to trim this head just a touch. Okay, once you get them there, I'll bring those fibers forward just a little bit. And I mean just the slightest little bit off the tips of those front fibers. If you trim it too much, um, the back end of this will not swim nearly as well. You want to have this really big bulky head to help push that water back and get that back end to really kick. Once you got it all trimmed where you want it, you can see your gives you a really great sculpin shape there. I'll tie this in with our orange or even two-tone it all the way up for some really good looking craw patterns or multicolored minnows. Um, you can ditch the legs um, and run a cone on it without these eyes here and gives you really great little kind of game changer looking minnows. Um, it's a really quick um, pattern that gives you the same qualities of those game changer flies without having to sit there um, behind the vise for hours and all the shanks and stuff like that. Um, so there you have it. Look for this Techno Bunny on our website along with our laser legs and uh, tie a few up and hopefully they catch a big one for you. Thanks again.